Welcome to Vet Business Services for 2021. My name is Jason Mueller and I'll be taking you through a short PowerPoint to talk about um, any girls wanting to do business services next year at St. Patrick's College. Um, basically what business services is, is run through the RTO in Wollongong and also um, is an, a, an accredited HSC um, lesser two unit course. Business services offers you the chance to achieve your HSC and you can also be um, fully qualified with a certificate two in business services. So why wait until you leave school to go to TAFE when you can be completely qualified and receive your certificate on completing year 12? The scope and sequence for the subject looks like this. We've got lots of different subjects. A lot of people ask me what the difference is between business services, which is also an ATAR course, and business studies. Business studies is more theory based. Um, think about people who want to become an entrepreneur, start their own business, those sorts of things. Business services is more practical and it's more like office skills. So if you browse through some of the content, we look at uh, things like handling mail, uh, developing keyboard speed and accuracy. So they do a typing test with that, how they work effectively with others. And then we go on to look at things like creating and using spreadsheets and so on. Another look at the uh, the units of work there. So how does business services work in terms of assessment? Business services is a competency-based subject. So each client will receive a formal assessment task at the end of each term. These will be marked as either competent or non-competent. Uh, they'll be marked by myself, who's known as the trainer in VET subjects and then they are submitted to the RTO, the Registered Training Authority at Wollongong um, Catholic Education Office. Uh, all of the assessments are basically standard for all schools uh, across the, uh, the state, and there's one assessment task at the end of every term. So they're basically marked competent or non-competent. If uh, the task is, is marked as non-competent, they actually have three attempts to redo the task. And usually it's something um, to do with, you know, maybe a few questions have been left out or they've got a couple of little things wrong. Um, nobody has really been non-competent uh, in a sense of, of in one of their assessment tasks. Uh, the girls will do 70 hours of work placement a year. They'll do uh, 35 hours in term three and they'll do 35 hours in term four. Uh, photo of myself there. Uh, yes, the teachers also have to do a bit of work placement. We do, we call it industry currency, and it's basically keeping up with industry trends and going out and uh, and working just like the girls do. So, I had to have one of the um, former students there from, who went down to Myrtle College. We look at a lot of places in the local MacArthur area. The girls don't have to find those places themselves. We find the MacArthur Workplace Learning find the uh, the placements for the girls, and they just choose from a list. Um, of where they, uh, they'd like to go to. The employer will give them a business services uh, student work placement journal and they'll write up a formal report which can be used in their resume. Um, we've had some really successful girls in the past who have actually been nominated for awards. Um, one of our girls this year was Olivia who's been nominated um, as work placement student of the year and uh, that's excellent for Olivia. Uh, we don't run our course out of a classroom. We actually run it through the Business Services Centre, which is a, an office that has all of the up-to-date office equipment. We've got ergonomic chairs, we've got filing cabinets, we've got our own photocopier, shredder, and the girls made up a little sign there. It's not an office at the classroom. Uh, apparently a quote from me <laughs> at the start of the year. And it's a very welcoming environment for the girls. We have our own TV, which we put data check the things up and uh, places to call their own. So it's not really a classroom as such. We, we try and make it a bit of an office for them. Uh, business services is a subject like no other. Uh, we have, it's an eco-friendly office, which the girls actually did design themselves in the past. And they're always coming up with new ideas as well to try and help with that. Um, I'll take a few, uh, a few of the excursions and things that we go on in business services. Um, in year 11, they go up to Sydney Tower and we look at how the tower is actually run as a business and the hospitality girls also come along uh, with that so it's a really really good day 
they get a free buffet lunch and they get to, to go down to the kitchens, they get to talk to staff and see how they actually make money through hiring the venue out for different things like weddings and functions and so on. There's the function room there. It's obviously a view from the top of the tower. And the girls enjoy a beautiful lunch. They met many of the staff of the day. They met managers, function coordinators, they met the chefs, and they saw how effective customer service works. Another of the uh, functions that we had this year were actually asked um, by MacArthur Workplace Learning to host a night, an awards night out at Liverpool Catholic Club. And the girls got their groovy shirts and they acted as hosts for the night, welcoming guests on arrival. They gave out name badges, directed uh, award nominees and their guests to their seats in the auditorium, took the award winners and showed them up on stage and helped in the preparation of the night and handled the awards with care. They even gave them white gloves. Okay, and certainly represented the college with pride and were the perfect hosts. Another function that we did in um, coordination with our hospitality girls was a fundraiser. Uh, we called it Patty's Diner and our girls certainly loved this one. This was, a, a, I think it was on, was on Benedict's Day and it's in um, using the, um, the unit uh, deliver a service to customers, I think the name of the unit is. And they did lots of things. They took orders, they used marketing techniques to promote the business on the day, they advertised. They also acted and, and served and gave out the meals on the day as well. Uh, this year, in year 12, uh, we had an excursion to the Campbelltown Catholic Club, newly renovated. Again, the girls from hospitality came along with us and we toured the club's many facilities including Ridges Hotel and witnessed how it is run. Uh, the business services girls, uh, we were taken and met with um, a few of the managers there and talked about the financial side of the business and uh, how it was run in terms of making profits. And the girls toured the hotel, talked to a few people about how a hotel is run in conjunction with the Catholic Club and I even visited the laundry. They examined the booking process for various functions, including weddings, and experienced fine dining at Koyubi restaurant with uh, the chef, Kim. Now, Kim is an ex-student of ours. She's down the back there, and she's now got a job due to her hospitality training and works there full time. Um, some of the success stories we've had, uh, we've had a few band sixes. It's very possible to get a band six in business services. Um, we had Grace who received a band six in 2018 and Courtney was actually placed eighth in the state a few years ago as well. And uh, that's just a couple of photos that I found of, of girls. Uh, but it is possible to obviously get a good mark uh, for your ATAR in business services, but also get your certificate two at the same time. We went on a tour of the college's front office and we saw how the school is run. They examined issues such as work health and safety and even made some suggestions for improvements throughout the school. We looked at signage, evacuation routes, and manual handling and had a great time down there. So I do encourage people to take up business services next year as a HSC subject and I'm sure the girls will have a great time. It's a fun subject, but they certainly learn a lot and are fully qualified by the end of the two years.